What is a polyfill? Just assume that there is um, a future logging standard called, uh, which defines the log functions on, um, on, on the window or document object, so it can be used right away without the console. But we would already use it right now. The problem is, of course, uh, uh, some browsers might not support that. And um, so if I look at this, at the console, we see uncode reference error lock is not defined, which is uh, very true because it's really not defined. So, and uh, we would like, so what we will have to do is we will have to patch the browsers to support lock, but just conditionally patch the browsers So how it works. So I will uh, create a JavaScript file and let's call it polylog.js. And I would like to include the file here, um, source and uh, polylog. .js. And then in the polylog file, first I would like to check whether my Windows does not support that, the log function. If it doesn't, I would like to patch that, so patching. And uh, because JavaScript is a dynamic uh, language, what we can do, we can uh, define a function on the fly and say uh, the window log is a function. And this function is um, the definition is just the message is going to be passed to to console.log. So what it means is if uh, if the log function is not defined, so it is not defined, then I will patch it. Otherwise, nothing happens. And as we can see, patching hey future standard. So it seems to work. So what polyfills are? There are scripts which are providing not standard, but not supported, it doesn't have to be standard, but usually standard APIs, which are not supported yet by some browsers, and this patching is conditional. So usually you would um, check whether functionality is there, and if not, you will provide a, a, a workaround or, or a patch, and if, if it is there, nothing would happen.